Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for stopping by. If you're new, welcome. My name is Jen. Welcome to Jen Plans. Today we're planning for the month of February in our classic habit planner. So I went ahead and pulled a couple booklets and a few sticker sheets. We will be using the pressed florals for most of it. I know it's only February, but this pink inspired me to start with some florals. So as you can see, I have written a lot of what is going to be happening for me in February. I still have a few birthdays and stuff that I don't add here, but I will be adding afterwards. Um, so first what we're going to do is we're getting ourselves started with these clear, um, I'm not even sure what kind of flowers they are. If you know, let me know in the comments below, but I love them. They're kind of like a a darker pink so I feel like they had a good contrast so we started right there in the center just kind of blending the two pages together then I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more on either side this may sound a little different today because we aren't doing it live this is a voiceover just because there was a lot of noise in my house that day and I wasn't able to kind of sneak away or do it early enough that <laughs> the family was still sleeping. So here we are. So I've gone ahead and added those beautiful little clear stickers to the top and in the corners. Then I'm kind of just going through and I came across these beautiful pale kind of watercolored looking florals, which I'm going to add kind of down the center of each of the page between the, the top stickers there. So I like the kind of contrast that this added. I wasn't really sure at first, but when I started going with it, I kind of liked it more and more. And then near the end, you'll see me kind of obviously cut the tops of those off and then I just add them throughout the spread, which I feel made a huge difference. Then I wanted to find something for kind of like the bottom. I'm trying to do my best in this spread to kind of fill up the pages, make it a look, make it a look, <laughs> make it a look a little different. Um, and a, a lot more full. So I really enjoyed kind of using up quite a few of these stickers, which you'll see as we start going. I knew that I wanted to add a little bit of texture underneath that bottom right flower. So you'll see me go ahead here and kind of use my knife and peel that off. And we're gonna go ahead and drop that right underneath the other flower at the bottom. Just kind of adds a little extra element to it. I kind of had some trouble kind of figuring out where to put it but I think overall it looked good so you'll see here I kind of decided that taking the top sticker off was probably the best and in that way I could adjust the other pink I guess this is a pansy maybe is this is a pansy <laughs> I'm so bad at floral names even though I am obsessed with flowers I'm I just don't know my names so that's okay so we went ahead and kind of kept that there I did want to add a couple of other things so I put another little pink one at the bottom on the left there and I kind of was thinking about layering that too so what I'll do um, I think here in a minute you'll see me um, take the top off the other corner and then that one will go down underneath as well. So just some layering techniques. If you know me, you know that I don't like wasting if I don't have to. So I found a little place for this one in the corner and I think it worked out perfectly. I wish I would have watched my camera so that you guys could see that or which books I was working out of, but unfortunately <laughs> I didn't. So I'm gonna try and do my best to tell you which book I'm in and what I'm doing, and then we'll go from there. So here I do have the Happy Planner Hole Punch, and I'm not sure why I don't use it all the time. Um, and I always forget to add stickers kind of in the middle. So you'll see here that I went ahead and did that. And at the end, I will just hole punch them and go from there. So 
So next I went ahead and found these cute little boxes that fit the kind of pink theme I was working with. So I'll take a few of these off and put them in certain dates. You'll see there this didn't really fit in the boxes so I'm not 100% sure if these are for a different layout or what they're for, but I ended up just kind of trying to put them as best I could in the middle of the boxes. And I think this kind of worked. It actually added like a little shadow element to it. So I'll use a couple of these and then I do end up using a smaller one as well, which you'll see. This one went on a little crooked, but we left it just the way it was. Then I started adding a couple of different sizes. I thought this would look, um, just give it a little bit of tech, a little bit more texture. We're all about texture in this month's layout, as you can see. I found this long sticker box, which um, you'll see me pull off again out of frame, but this worked out perfectly. I didn't really have a plan for this one. I just kind of ran with it and knew that I wanted it to be, I mean, it's February, so all the pinks and reds and flowers, very Valentine theme. <laughs> so that is what we are working with for this month. So I went ahead and found a today's sticker in one of the, um, I think it was still the pressed florals. So we went ahead and popped that in there. Then I'm just kind of flipping through the book again because I knew I wanted to add a couple of flowers kind of peeking out from behind some of the boxes um, and just adding some, some again, the word texture, common theme here this <laughs> month it seems. So I added one in the middle and then you see that there is a corner lifted on the box of the sixth. I'm just going to pop one behind there as well. Kind of like adding these little peekaboo textures makes everything just feel kind of more put together. Then I decided I was going to kind of uh, use these top florals there and add them into the spread. Since they were half of a flower, I could definitely get away with you know, using it looking like it's peeking through from behind. So I went ahead and popped one there as well. And I like how that turned out. It kind of just added, you know, one of those leading lines between all the flowers. Then I'm going to go in in a happy, a happy, I cannot speak today you guys. I went into one of the happy memory keeping booklets and wanted to add some kind of Valentine's feel. So there was a page there that had the word February, it has some cute heart glasses, a few tags, so you'll see me here. Um, at first I wanted to use the bigger pair of glasses, but they were just a little too big for kind of anywhere that I put them. So there was a smaller version, which I decided to use. Those ones fit a lot better. So we went ahead and used those instead. And then there was these, this cute little tag and I went ahead and popped that on as well. Oh, and I forgot about my little car. <laughs> so I thought this little buggy was cute. So we put him down at the bottom along with a little heart that you'll see me pop on there, which I thought added a cute little spunk to it. And I believe the last sticker that I took from there was the little tag. And I think if I can remember correctly, it says, I love you, sweetheart. And then the little tag ribbon spells the word love. So there wasn't too much left for me to use from that one. Um, so I just kind of left it there. 
I was going to use the flowers and I don't think I ended up using them because it kind of felt like this was mostly reds and pink so I didn't want to add any other color element into it so I just kind of left it the way it was. Then I'm going to pull this little page. I do not know which sticker book this is from unfortunately because it was just a floater page. It must have fell out of one of the books. They had a lot of pink and gold. It kind of looks like paint splats. So I added those to all of the big things that are happening this month and I kind of like how it added a little pop of gold in each of them. So we worked with that. Okay, so now that I thought I had everything that I wanted to put on there, now would be a good time to pull out my Artist Loft pens. Of course, if you know, you know, the dual tip pens, my favorite. And I'm going to go in and use a pink color to go through all of the numbers and number it. So I'm going to have to erase everything. I want to speed this part up for you just so you don't have to watch me erase and put colors in there. All right, so we got all of our numbers put in. Now I'm just kind of thinking I wanted to add a little bit more color in here. So you'll see me in a second and I will just pull out, I kind of went with red colors. So I pulled out the two reds that I had. I didn't want to go too dark. I wanted to kind of keep that in like the fuchsia-ish um, color palette. So the first one I took was kind of like a pinky purple a little darker than you saw um, the numbers and I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna fill in all of the th exciting things that I have going on this month so you'll see me pull a couple different colors and see just kind of which ones I wanted so I've got my fuchsia color there I've got my red color and then I believe I have a purple there as well which I will use in a minute So the next thing that you will see me doing, I'm just going through on my calendar and adding in all the dates of important things. So here in Canada, we have family day and it is a holiday for us and that will be on the 20th. Then I'm going in and adding in my lunch dates with my best friend. We try and do this once a month because our lives are very hectic, um, but I definitely want to always be in touch. We also have our couch coming, or a gentleman coming to spray our couches. We needed new couches, so my no spend January came to a halt when <laughs> this happened, but I would consider it to be more of a need than a want, so I don't know if I'd consider that a break in it. Um, we're also watching my grandson for the weekend as well, of February the 10th, which is awesome. And we are going to be godparents once again, so our um, our friend's baby shower will be on the 12th. If you haven't heard of a place called Activate here in Canada, I highly suggest that you take a look and see what it's all about. It is going to be so much fun. We're going there for my best friend's birthday and it's like a, a grown-up playground. It's all laser tag and mazes and there is basketball and all kinds of stuff. So we're super, super excited. We've wanted to go here for about a year. So we're going to be doing that in February as well, along with a dinner date with a few of my really close girlfriends, which we, um, they're like the, my tribe, you know, the ones that have been there for almost your whole life. And no matter how long time goes by, you pick up where you left off and it's like no time has passed so we try and get together as much as we can. Finally I'm going to go through here and I'm going to just pull off the rest of the flowers at the top there and put them in their home within the calendar. And the very last thing I do is just cut down the center stickers before I go ahead and use my punch to um, repunch out those little middle holes that got covered by the stickers. I 
And I don't really know why I don't do this more. I love the look of the stickers down the center, just kind of floating in. And for some reason, I always forget that I have this punch and it works wonderfully. You just pop it in and you reprint your little holes there. You'll see here though, sometimes it is a struggle to get these pages to kind of punch. It's almost like the little holes or the, the cutouts get stuck. So and there we go. <laughs> There's my struggle with it. All right. So now that we've done that, I'm gonna pull up my planner and we're gonna pop this in there. Overall, I love how this turned out. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider liking and commenting and subscribing. It helps me out a lot. And feel free to let me know what you guys, were, what you guys are looking forward to in February. And we will see you in our next video. Take care guys, bye.